And we live in a, in a wonderland. It's a great area. All right. We love it. <laughs> Rooster. Beautiful bird, man. From the fishing to the hunting. Yeah! A real true South Dakota experience that I know we will never forget. I'm Dan Eigen, full-time guide and avid outdoorsman. These days it's easy to get stuck inside in a virtual world. But the real world is outside. So I challenge you to put your instincts to work making real memories with real people. Because we love it outdoors. For the Eigens, hunting, especially upland bird and waterfowl hunting, is a family tradition. My father introduced me to shotgun sports as a kid, and we still spend as much time in the field together as possible. These days, I'm doing all I can to pass along the love of hunting to my kids. Take them! Today, my daughter Elizabeth and I are going shopping, and it's not your ordinary 12-year-old shopping spree. We're headed to Mills Fleet Farm to pick out Elizabeth's first shotgun for a special father-daughter hunting and fishing trip to South Dakota. Think you'll be able to shoot a rooster with that? Probably. Can I take a look? And that's, that's the gun that I broke, broke in on, too. Whoa. How does it feel, honey? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You'll be able to shoot a shoot a bird with that? I'll try. There you go. Elizabeth is armed and ready, and we're heading west towards the great state of South Dakota. Our destination is the little town of Akaska, just south of Mobridge, on the shores of Lake Oahe. One of the finest walleye fisheries in the country, and in the heart of some of the best pheasant hunting ground in the world. Welcome to my office. Chad Schilling is the hottest walleye fisherman in the country right now. In 2012, Chad proved he was the best of the best by winning the FLW Walleye Tour Angler of the Year title. $10,000 walking away number one in the world. But when he's not trying to catch walleyes for big bucks, he's here at Oahe Wings and Walleyes, a full service hunting and fishing lodge he owns and operates with his wife Shonda and their family. Here we are, Elizabeth. This looks like a nice, nice place to stay. Hi guys. Hello there. Chad Schilling. Dan Eigen. Welcome to South Dakota. Hi, nice to meet you. Hey, nice Shonda. To you. Nice to meet you. This is my daughter, Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Nice, so nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Come on in, guys. Let's come on in. Have a seat. You guys, this is really beautiful. Thank you. Wow, is this nice. Look at those bucks on the wall. And <laughs> game everywhere. You know, almost everything in here was taken within five miles of the place. So it's uh, we live in a in a wonderland. It's a great area. Absolutely, and just looking around, I mean, to be able to see for miles and miles, this is my kind of my kind of place. But boy, is it windy out there! Huh. We uh, we are. This is unusual. We've had four days of up gusts up to 50, almost 60 miles an hour a few times. Um, kind of probably going to put a little damper on the fishing plans for the uh, earlier today. It is supposed to be letting up as the day goes on, and maybe this evening will be a great time to get out and try to catch some of them walleyes out here on Lake Hawaii. So. That sounds good. And you guys, we just actually picked up a new gun for Elizabeth. We got her a 870 just the other day. Exciting. And, yeah, and this is her first pheasant hunt, so we need to see if maybe get her a little, um, oh, kind of used to the gun. And Yep, you know, we do it a little different. We'll, we'll actually make it lifelike, so you're not just standing there and clays are coming out in front of you. We'll do a little walk around and throw some hand throwing clays and get you comfortable. You came to the right spot, Hawaii Wings and Walleyes. We're gonna catch some walleyes and hopefully go shoot some pheasants and the numbers are incredible. So you'll have plenty of opportunities. We'll make it happen. Cool, looking forward to it. That first <laughs> rooster, maybe we'll mount it just like that one right there. There okay. you go.
before every hunt, we always do a little safety meeting, Elizabeth, and we'll go over just the stuff we're going to do in the field and the stuff we're going to do here practicing. Like I said, one of my favorite things to do is have the chambers open. Until we're actually in the field and hunting, we have it on safe, but the chambers locked open is always, it's real safe that way. Once you're in the field, feel free to lock your shell in, but always have it on safe until you're ready to shoot. Carry it in a ready position. When we're doing this here, carry it in a ready position or on your shoulder, but up in the air. When the clays come out, go ahead and take your shot. Ooh. I believe most of your shots go in here. So you're looking down the barrel and put it right here. The great thing about these is you have a pattern like this big. So you don't have to be exact. Don't try to aim perfectly. Just get right in this general area and squeeze that trigger. Oh. warm her up and she explodes them. Nice shooting, young lady. That was excellent. Yeah! yeah. Nice job. <laughs> Good girl. Put the safety on. Okay, well, we got that out of the way. You know, the wind is still blowing pretty good. Just, you know, we, we're having a hard time staying warm here on land. Out in the water, it'd be pretty cold. So let's go take a drive around. I'll show you some of the properties and show you where we'll be tomorrow on opening day. Awesome. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. This year with the dry conditions, the birds have really been favoring around anywhere there's water. We had an early spring, a real gorgeous open winter. Uh, the farmers all got in the field a lot earlier, and for that reason, the crops came out earlier. Look, look, look at there. look at them, yeah, <laughs> three roosters. Yeah. Cool. There's okay. your limit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the wind's kind of going down, so they want to get out and move too, like us. We're going to go do some fishing. They're going to do some eating. We're going to do some fishing. And we'll come back and wake them up tomorrow. There you go. There you go. Do her. To be able to come out here and try to jig up a walleye right now on the on the eve of the pheasant opener in South Dakota. How in the world can you beat that? We're gonna go get them. Rod tip goes heavy, just kind of lower it down a little bit and just what I do is I start to lift like this real slow, and if it gets heavy, just about that much is all you got to do. And you start reeling. Fish on. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, don't mess around. Go ahead and catch one right away. Okay, okay sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I think I like it already. Fish on. Elizabeth's got one too. <laughs> oh. I told you it's going to be slow after a front. <laughs> yes! Tell me what you do with that. We're going to have a fish fry. Way to go, Elizabeth. Beat your dad. Beat your dad. Beat your dad. Nice. Look at these fish right here. 15 incher, 14 and 3 quarters. Those are going to get eaten tonight. And you know what? We've only been here for what? 30 seconds. Okay. Where's your well, Chad? Right under here. We have an incredible number of nice fish in the system in the spring and the fall of the year, like even a little later in this where you'll catch numbers of big fish. But for the most part, we have an incredible number of them, 13 to 16 inch fish. And like I said, the future looks bright. Them fish, when they get to be 18 to 20 inch fish, it's just gonna be phenomenal out here. All right, or you can catch a big one right here. Not so much a big, oh, a um, better fish, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's a 16, 17, 18. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, 19. <laughs> Oh, yeah, nice yeah. fish. There we that. go. How about that? We've been talking a lot about the um, 12, 13, 14 inches. You know what? That's a 17 and a half, maybe push an 18 incher, and they get bigger, right? Oh, they get a lot bigger, yeah. And it's that time of year where they're going to start getting a lot bigger, so hard to beat oh, that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Is that bottom or fish? No, that's a fish. So they're shallower. <laughs> Chad. I <laughs> drifted up on accident. Oh, I lost it. Bummer. <laughs> I'm gonna tank this one. 
one of the most simple things that produces by far the 90% of the walleyes I catch during the year is a simple bottom bouncer and a plain hook. This allows you to stay a little bit up off the bottom, not deal with quite as many snags. And on the other end, it's as simple as it gets. Plain Aberdeen hook. Uh, works for a minnow, can thread a crawler on it. Absolutely will produce fish year round. I mean, if you can get this down, it will catch fish. Right now, this time of year in the fall or in the early spring, we'll switch over to a jig. A jig and minnow, jig and plastic combination. I use that both for the minnows. I can thread a minnow on there. I can thread a crawler clear up to the head of the jig. Or as in using some of the plastics, I'll slide a uh, chunk of gulp alive on there. Just keep it simple. It doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be anything technical, but it's something that it'll produce fish all the time. <laughs> How can you beat that? That away, it's shilling. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth's got one here. Elizabeth, did you get the limit fish? This could be number 12. Whoa, look at that. That girl? Nice <laughs> job. Oh, thank you. You're thank welcome. you. <laughs> Uh, she wipes the slime on me. <laughs> nice job. Yeah. Elizabeth just caught the last one. That makes 12. That's our limit of walleyes. And we're going to wrap her up. Chad, go back and eat some of those walleyes. They're going to be almost as fun to eat as they were to catch. So let's go get this done. I love that. There isn't a restaurant in the world that can match a surf and turf dinner like this. It's a perfect end to an amazing first day on the prairie. It's hard to believe it's going to get even better when the birds start flying tomorrow. We're going to be on pheasants today. <laughs> it's opening day of the South Dakota pheasant season, and the excitement around the lodge is intense. Came all the way from Cumming, Georgia for this. South Dakota to kill pheasants, opening day. Ooh, waited 39 years for this, and here we go. <laughs> Legal shooting hours aren't until noon, but as you can see, like a bunch of kids on Christmas Eve, it's awfully tough to wait. Well, Dan, let's go over a little bit of the game plan here for um, the bigger fields, the things we're, we're most accustomed to doing, and what we're going to do to show Elizabeth kind of the party hunting deal. I'll show you how so we Chad and I kill a little time in. by going over his pheasant hunting strategy. We'll drop people down the north end with the bus and we'll let them out as we go here. After we get the, the walkers set and a couple flankers down this side, the bus will actually come down and it'll park right in the middle of the field. We'll drop a blocker right here, uh, another guy standing, and we'll put another one on this corner. And as you can see, if you get everybody drawn out here a little bigger, we have the entire field surrounded before anybody ever steps into the, the field. Hmm. Well, that looks like a pretty awesome strategy. It looks like it makes sense. Yeah, cool. Let's go do it. Let's do it. All right, man. Boy. Finally, it's time to load up the guns and the dogs and head for the field. To give her a little feel for the sport, Elizabeth and I are going to watch the first push from the sidelines. Somebody without a dog back towards the road. There's roosters landing as we were coming down the dirt road. Roosters, birds flying, flying right now. Right now yeah. So this, it's mayhem is about ready to start here any minute. Go ahead, guys. Nice and easy. Rooster, look at Lizard. Dead bird, dead bird, dead bird, dogs. Oh, that is so cool. Look at Elizabeth. <laughs> Look how beautiful he is. Look at that, huh? Oh my goodness. Nice job, buddy. Thank you very much. Good job. <laughs> Young bird, Rich. Oh yeah. He's this year's bird, but he's still got a spur. Yeah, that bird. Beautiful nice. bird, man. Nice bird. Rooster! 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 Yeah, yeah. Rooster! Kill that sucker. Yeah! Yeah! So we've got a little feel for being a walker. On the next chunk of ground, we'll try our hand at being a blocker. These guys are pushing this field towards us, and there, there's a rooster. Yep, oh, oh, the rooster got away. Um, 
As they get closer, these birds are just gonna keep getting tighter and tighter, and I have a feeling things are gonna happen here. Rooster! There's a rooster. Look at. Nice shot! you'll be able to see the roosters are just darker from a distance. Obviously, as they get closer, you're gonna pick out the colors on them, but you can pretty much tell a hen, Elizabeth, when they, when they jump, they're just, a, they're not as dark, okay? Good bird, good boy, young bird. Turn around here, buddy, we'll get him put in your pouch. You're time to grow into a bigger pouch, I think, Bo. There you go, buddy. Hey. Rooster! <laughs> Some incredible action on opening day here in South Dakota, but I think we've watched from the sidelines long enough. It's time for Elizabeth to break out the new gun and get in on the action. There you go. We're just going to spread out along here. We'll put your dad probably on the left and you on the right, Elizabeth, and we're just going to go right on through there. Now we'll be able to slow down a little more. Now the ones we're probably gonna get are the ones that hold, so we're gonna try to get them first, so. All right, let's go give it a whirl. Let's get that first bird, Elizabeth. Let's get them right here. Be watching the sky as much as you can, Elizabeth. They're really birdie. Bolt dogs are birdie. Be ready, Elizabeth. We see a hen. Man, are they birdie. Come on, get him. Hey! Hey, rooster, rooster! Rooster! We see a hen. Man, are they birdies. Come on, get him. Hey! Hey, rooster, rooster! Rooster! Got it. Good try, Elizabeth. You'll get the Good next job, one. Elizabeth. Yep. You'll get the next one. The rooster didn't go down, but I'm still all smiles because I just got to watch my 12-year-old daughter get her first shot at a South Dakota ring neck. Good job, Daisy. Come on, Crockett. Hunt him up. And it won't be her last. Yeah, just make sure it's clear of the bus to the right, Elizabeth. Rooster! rooster wait! Go wait, 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 now! Take now. him! Hold it. Good try, Good honey. Good try. Shoot like out here. You know what I mean? When you're swinging with him, just put it in front of him and squeeze the trigger. Wow. Gun's clear? Yep. My, my gun's clear? You got a couple shots, huh? Yeah. That was <laughs> excellent. That was excellent. I mean, you don't always have to get them. But you got a shot off, you got a round up, and uh, like my wife said, make the gun go boom. That's a lot of fun, isn't it? They don't, they don't drop unless you fire a round at them and you got two rounds off of two different roosters. Nice work. We'll get one to go up straight away and I know it's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Cool. Let's go do it. Yeah, that was awesome. Nice job. Chad, I've shot more game with this 870 right here than any other gun I have. I've shot deer and turkeys and ducks and now pheasants, but what do you suggest for tools of the trade for pheasant hunting? You know, number one is exactly what you did. Bring a gun you're comfortable with. We suggest a modified choke or even a little fuller. You know, a lot of my customers, after the first or second day of their hunt, go, I cannot believe how strong these birds are. I mean, they can take a beating. Three inch fours, fives, and sixes are excellent. If you go to the two and three quarter inch shell, which is an excellent choice also, it doesn't quite put the beating into your shoulder. Uh, I like a four or a five, especially a four then. Um, the drams, the ounces of uh, powder is really huge. I like an ounce and five eighths. That's a great load like they do in the Prairie Storm, but the ounce and a quarter is a minimum. All the manufacturers make a premium shell anymore. They all have a great quality shell. They also have a lesser uh, expensive shell. You, you will actually probably save money if you spend the money the first time and buy a little bit better, a little bit higher end shell. You won't shoot as many birds and you won't have as many cripples out there. Okay, let's go. Get ready, Elizabeth. Yeah, we're gonna see a ton of them. Hey! Man. They're jumping up ahead. Yep. Rooster! Take them, guys! Boy. Nice shot, guys. There, look at this. Get, Get him, ready. Boone. Get him, Boone. Good job, buddy. Good job. Nice. Excellent. Hey. Hen. There goes a rooster. rooster. Yep. Get back in now. Get down, get down, get down. Hey. 
Hey, Russo, let's wrap. Yeah! Get him, dogs. Nice. He's running. Oh, <laughs> Rooster down. You guys both hit him, I think. I really do. Young bird. Unbelievable. Nice, nice shooting, young lady. I think your dad teamed up on I think you bumped him a little at first, and then your dad brought him down. But uh, excellent job. You were twice as fast on that one as the first couple you tried on, and it's just a little experience. It's a young bird. First year bird, he held for the dogs. I actually thought he was going to take off running, but the dogs were right there, and he didn't go anywhere. So. You want to get that vest bloody? All yeah. right, turn this way. There you go. Nice job, Elizabeth. Good. There, now I got more blood on you there. Good. Now it's broken. One All more right. knuckle right here. <laughs> nice work. Yep, good job. Come here, Boon. Boy, was I on that one. We hey, continued our walk, Elizabeth. and the birds just kept flying. Rooster. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> good job. And it was incredible for me to watch my baby girl turn into a full-fledged pheasant hunter with all its joys Another one. and frustrations. Crap. It's hard to explain what it is about the outdoors that brings people, especially families, so much closer together. I just know it does. And I'm truly blessed to have been able to share this time in South Dakota with my daughter Elizabeth. Thank you so much, Chad. I mean, this has been really a phenomenal trip. You know, I mean, it really has. I appreciate it. I know Elizabeth appreciates it. I mean, from the fishing, to the hunting, to the accommodations of Shonda cooking, and hanging out with Bo and Samantha. I mean, this has been a real true South Dakota experience that I know we will never forget. So. You know, we try to keep it family orientated and uh, it has been fun. We started out with some horrible weather pre-trip and it turned out pretty nice for us. That don't normally work out that way, so. It was awesome, so it's been a blast. Thank I you, thank buddy. thank you very much. Thank you, yep. buddy. Nice meeting you, young lady. It was a lot of fun. Thanks. Yep, that was a hunt of a lifetime. <laughs> All right. Continue this adventure by visiting your local Mills Fleet Farm store or shop online at fleetfarm.com for all your sporting good needs and more. Fleetfarm.com.